Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GreyFlorals.com and I'm back with Summer of Stories with Sarah Scraps where we share two layouts every month to inspire you to share your summer stories. Now we've all heard of the dog days of summer but have you guys heard of the cat days of summer? Because it involves a lot of naps for my cats. So I have these photos of Lily from this summer that I thought were too funny not to scrapbook and I am using my How to Kill a Kit with Style for the month of July today. If you haven't seen that kit share yet I'll have it linked down below. Tons of papers, tons of embellishments, a huge kit, but I think you guys would love to see all of it come together and be used throughout the month. So check that out, link down below. I also have Sarah's video linked down below so you guys can check out what she's making this month and if throughout the summer, but we're having a lot of fun scrapbooking. And this is an exciting layout because it's the first layout I've done with photos printed from my brand new printer. Yes, details coming soon in a haul video talking about the new printer, talking about all the things I've bought this summer so far. You guys are going to love it. And I adore my printer so far. But I just printed these all into 3 by 4 size through the Project Life app. Super simple. Didn't take too much pain to get through that process. But as my first print from home job, I think I did pretty good. And I'm really excited to work with these pictures and a new size. You guys know I'm usually a 4x6 scale, but today we're doing the 3x4. Now for this layout, I have a plethora of papers I'd pulled out. The first one, the background now, is from the Simple Stories Life in Color collection. An oldie but a goodie in that beautiful sort of like teal color. Then I have that American Crafts house paper, which is adorable, which may be from a Christmas collection. It was unmarked because it's just a plain American Crafts branded when they're sold at Joann's. But then I also have that layer beneath the photos, which is from the DCWV blush collection. And I cut that to be 10 by 9 and a half just to give it a nice mat between my photos and that busy background paper. Now what I will say is, since I have so many embellishments in this kit and it's a brand new kit to me, I'm just starting working with it, I go through practically everything and pull out some ideas first because I didn't have a direction for this particular layout. I looked on Pinterest for some interest um, in how I could use a bunch of 3x4 photos but didn't find anything that really excited me. So what I do is just start going through the elements I've pulled together in this kit because honestly I haven't opened like this Happy Days My Mind's Eye ephemera pack. I haven't opened it probably since I bought it. So I didn't really know what was in there. So I start going through it. I pull out that house. I even pull out a chicken, which I'll explain why there's going to be a chicken on this layout in a little bit. I pull out all these color schemes that sort of match those house patterns in the background. So the teals, the yellows, the pinks, a really a great match in terms of color scheme. And then I pull out the sticker sheet, of course, which again, pulling out another chicken, um, which we'll get to, I know. You never thought you'd use a chicken on a cat layout, but there's a good reason to. But before we get to that, I wanted to gut this paper because I adored the Simple Stories Life and Color collection. And if you guys watched my purge throughout this past um, earlier this year and last year, you'll know I got rid of that paper pad. Um, but I did keep a couple sheets of my favorite patterns that I had yet to use. But all the cut aparts in that one didn't really vibe with me. But I adored the patterns and colors in there. So this one is one of the ones that stayed and... I actually remember the other layout I made with this cross teal paper that I have here and I just love it so much that I had to gut the inside and I definitely need a replacement blade for my poor trimmer which I'll get to eventually I'm sure but right now I'm just kind of sawing through all of my papers until I can find my replacements because I know they're in my craft room somewhere it's just a matter of finding where. But now I'm going to start working on this giant embellishment cluster or cascade as I started calling them when they're more than just a cluster. But back to the chicken. Yes, I have a chicken on this layout. And if you guys watch my behind the scenes vlogs, I might have mentioned this over on Patreon. But I call my cats a plethora of nicknames, including chicken. And this is Lily. She's my orange tabby. Uh, she has some white spots, a lot of orange on her, but I call her chicken because she looks like a chicken nugget. So that's the emphasis of having a chicken on this layout. And again, if you've seen my behind the scenes over on Patreon, I will have two cats. So I also have Poppy, who I call a plethora of names, but mostly Pop Pop. So I love incorporating those small details onto these layouts, like a chicken piece of ephemera or sticker, which would be very hard to use otherwise, but somehow worked in so easily on this layout when you really start thinking about the ways ephemera can help tell our stories. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that little tidbit of knowledge that I do indeed have a chicken cat. Um, she's actually not afraid of too much. The other one's actually much more skittish, so I could also put a chicken on her layout because she's a scaredy cat. She's a chicken. But, you know, just some ideas for you guys if you have pets and you have chicken die cuts or ephemera pieces that you might want to try to use 
think of them in that unique way and you might be able to just implement them onto your next project. Now, as I was blathering on about chicken, I did finish off my cluster placement. So I have several small clusters and elements, and then there's the large cluster on the left. Now, you might be wondering where the heck I'm going to put my title. Um, at this point, I did sort of figure that out already, but you'll see towards the end once I actually implement it. But for now, I got my washi out, and that is just a fun grid washi tape. I got a huge set of them for Christmas, and I'm finally getting through all of the colors. And I really adore this mint color. But now I'm going to put down all of these photos. Now, if you couldn't tell what these photos were at the beginning, this is the process of her yawning and coming back to normal, tired herself. Um, and she's like, Mom, why'd you take pictures? So that's what those photos are. I think they're adorable and funny. And I'm really glad I was able to capture them. Now what I will say is this is the test photo paper that came with my printer. If you stick anything on top of these photos, it's impossible to get them off. Um, it's like it's going to rip off the color of the paper, if that makes sense. So I decided to leave the chicken where it was and sort of just replace it um, with the other elements around it so I could make it work. And then that cluster sort of builds out into a lot of pieces. So mostly the My Mind's Eye sticker sheet and ephemera pack, but I also bring in a label from Ellie Studio and a flare from Scrap and Happy Studio, which are absolutely adorable. And I love including flare on all my projects, especially these epoxy ones that are a little bit thinner than the metal ones used to be. And then I have all these little strips here, which came with the same My Mind's Eye ephemera pack. And one says, seriously, and the other one says, um, okay. And then this little high piece. I just really love how much is going on on this layout. And similarly, I create a small cluster on the right hand side using one of those jelly bean soup placemat pieces, a chipboard piece from Dear Lizzie, and then another banner from My Mind's Eye that says Obsessed. Then I dive into my sticker book, which I know this layout has a lot going on. But like I said, when I made this kit, there were so many congruent color schemes throughout this sticker book throughout the other elements I'd pulled in that it just made sense to try to use up these sort of newish oldish items. They've been sitting in my stash for a while. I haven't touched them, but try to use them now. And they just went and flowed so perfectly together. The yellows, not a perfect match, but work really well nonetheless. The mint color, the teal color, that one's kind of a variant that you can really interweave between the shades because that's just one of those ones that goes so easily together, whether it's a slightly bluer teal or a greener teal, it just looks really nice. But now that we're winding down on the embellishments, I can finally place my title, which I'm using these wonderful and new to me freckled fawn block letters, which I adore block letter. They're a blush tone pink with a gold foil. So it's simply gonna say the phases of Lil. I wanted to put Lily, but uh, I ran out of room. So we just went with Lil, which is another nickname for her. And I really love this sort of small title with all these bigger elements. And I just really like a long title. So it fit perfectly in that little spot. Brought in more of those blush tones from that background paper and the other elements. And then I go a little bit more ham on embellishing. So I use some Heidi Swap phrase stickers from a sheet I'm trying to finish, some more labels from Freckled Fawn, and just kind of integrate it throughout the process and I do look for some final touches but really what I'm looking for is to use my tools as you guys know tool focus this month is what you guys voted for over on Instagram so I pulled out my punch here and use a scrap of the cutoff of the blush paper that we used as the layer underneath the photos and start implementing that throughout the clusters just for a little extra oomph and hearts are definitely the motif to be on this layout and lastly to finish it off I pull off some pink fresh studio enamel dots from an old Christmas collection that are just sitting in my stash. Not the perfect shade of mint, but it does go with some of the ones on this layout, so those are the ones I decided to pull. But let me know what you guys think of this layout down below, and do you guys have signs of the cat's days of summer in your house as we move through these summer months? I know I could use a nap, and Lily's the epitome of wanting a nap in these photos. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out the blog post linked down below for more up-close photos and details. And definitely check out Sarah's video, which will be linked down below, because we are sharing the summer of stories with you guys and hope to inspire you to capture some memories of your summer sooner rather than later but thank you guys so so much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on that notification bell bye guys